Just real quick here, I wanted to bring up something that I just experienced. Um, you see this heifer here. This eye that we're looking at has just went through its course of pink eye and might still be finishing it up. During the stages of pink eye, once we noticed it, we switched to this high iodized mineral salt. Let me throw some out here so she can hang around for a minute. Well, after uh, I noticed the pink, after I noticed the pink eye, I started to think back on how did this pink eye come about, and what I think happened, and I'm going to try and explain this to you here. Uh, one of our pastures only has two spigots, so in order to get water to each paddocks, I set up an alley and just every day make sure they have access from their paddocks to the alley to get water. After the first day of them having that alley, I uh, I went in there with my ATV and my drag and I dragged down the weeds and spread out the manure and uh, didn't think of much of an issue at the time. Well, now that the pink eye came about, I uh, started thinking about that daily as I'm dragging different paddocks and weeds and knocking them down and it hit me. I think I brought the pink eye, the pink eye on myself and here's what I am thinking. When I went into that alley that day, and I drug out them manure patties and knocked down them weeds, I think I spread pathogens and stuff from the manure all over their food, and they came in there and regrazed, specifically her back there with the pink eye. Now, several people have asked me, why do I think... That's what caused it. Well, we move daily to new paddocks. So I don't see a new paddocks of fresh grass that's had rest, um, cow patties that are dried out, um, causing any problems. But I do know that after a cow takes a dookie and it splatters on the ground and the horn flies move in to start laying their larva in that nice warm pool of who and then I spread it out spreading them eggs and larva everywhere out across the pasture and then she came back in along with the rest of these guys and girls and started regrazing and I really believe that's what brought on the pink eye now to resolve the pink eye we did not apply any medication no antibiotics we did not put on the cover on her eye um, it's not that I'm a cruel son of a bee. Uh, these aren't my cattle. I do as I am instructed from the farmer that owns them. And uh, he's one of these guys that uh, really believes in uh, doing things natural. And told me just keep moving her. Keep moving them to fresh grass. And also give her this high iodized mineral salt. Now, personally, I don't know how the eye, high iodized mineral salt is going to help with pink eye, uh, but he did also start or want to start offering kelp on a daily basis. Now, as far as the kelp, I did some research yesterday, and uh, kelp is actually a very good way to boost these guys' immune system. Now, you see this guy here? This is uh, Popeye, as I've named him, because of his eye. Uh, he was purchased this way, and uh, he hasn't been a problem, and I have a video on my channel about him if you would like to learn more about him. But that's a case of pink eye, a severe case of pink eye that went horribly wrong. So, in the last couple of weeks, um, I've watched a lot of videos on pink eye. I've even uh, listened to a couple of podcasts of Greg Judy speaking about pink eye and uh, Greg Judy seems to believe the best medicine for pink eye is to keep them cattle moving on fresh green grass keep them off that old nasty stuff so uh, with that being said and the owner not wanting to put a whole lot of effort into managing this with medicine or anything like that uh, that's what I did I kept them hopping uh, sometimes two times a day and we're heading into fall so grass growth really isn't at its most productive stage so 
that being said, I think we've done a good job. And in about three weeks, we have knocked out that pink eye. So just something I wanted to do a video on and uh, put my thoughts out there. If you have any thoughts or suggestions or uh, maybe just some input on how you think the pink eye came about or whether you agree or disagree or uh, whatever, I'll leave it in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, take time to subscribe. Thanks for watching. JC's Organic Farming.